All right. <laughs> On your side. Go ahead. Search the place. I'll wait down here. Alright, so now we need to go you can honor search our this place. Oh god. Me. Or not. It's your call, Mr. Black Sad. I'll make sure you're going crazy. Oh whoops. Wilson, come here. Bottom left for this game. Seems like a better placement. Oh boy. There's pizza on the table. The worst thing about O'Leary's boys dropping by isn't the beating, but the fact that I can't tell what's theirs and what's Yale's. True. Can't say this is the ideal drink hey, for an athlete. Then again, it could be your classic bookie thug lunch. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's see here. Caution, do not enter. La Fontaine, today. Uh, 17th century French fables. There must be one boring old lady. So, Mary went to the park with him. Judging by the general state of the apartment, they were leading a quiet life. Doesn't look like there's really much of anything else inside here. Oops. Come on. There you go. Oh, come on. What the heck? There you go. Whoa. Interesting. A little intense. The book on the table. Complete poems. Copy one of three. Do you know any of his relatives? Is his father ever, ever, Avenarius? Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't mm. he disappear 20 years ago? Interesting. Why would you want such a big closet for so few clothes? Unless someone emptied it recently. Yeah. I mean, that's what I would say, at least. Seems like Bobby inherited something uh, more than boxing skills from his father. Besides the tendency to interesting to thin air, of course. Interesting, uh, poet. Nice chain. Oh, that's the picture. So, the Sicilian like cop mob stories, don't you, Bobby? Uh, little messy. A woman's fragrance. Almost angelic. That's her scarf. I'm not sure how Yale's love of pickles will help me crack the case, <laughs> but it's good to know. Hmm. 
All right, let's see. Let's put it with Mary has a cold and they went to the park. That means she's been here recently, but why? What does sweet Mary have to do with Yale, the murder suspect? She's lying about Yale. Mary and Bobby and Yale killed Dunn? No, no, she definitely, I don't think so. I think that's... Judging by the general state of the apartment, they were leading a quiet life. The music for this game is very good. I think that's it. I don't see anything else in the house. Actually, wait one sec. Yeah. Leave, oh boy. I told O'Leary I hadn't found a thing. The minute I was alone, I left for Mary's. But before all that, I took a small parting gift for her. Leary and Ally. The dangerous ally. I've never trusted angels. <laughs> Mr. Black's hat? What a... Surprise? What a surprise. When they fall, they turn into demons. Joey told me he was going to spend the afternoon painting the gym and that Bobby would be fixing something up on the roof. So after I found the body and called the police, I went to Bobby's place, but he wasn't there. How'd you open the door to his apartment? How did you open the door to his apartment? I think it was already open. Everything is so confusing. I'm sorry, Mr. Blacksad. Don't be. I'm here to figure it all out. What's your relationship with Bobby Yale? He was like a son to Joey, and we were about to get married, so, you know. Okay. I think it's time to set things straight. You cheating on Don with Yale, or was it the other way around? Oh, boy. I think you and Bobby Yale conspired to kill Dunn. No! How can you even think of something like that? How can you convince me otherwise? I found a picture at Yale's apartment. It's you and him on a roller coaster. Care to explain, Miss Purnell? I'm not white, Mr. Blackside. What? Seven of my great-grandparents were white. The eighth was black. According to law, I'm a black citizen, even if my skin says the contrary. Do you know what that means when you're born in North Arlington, Alabama? Segregated everything. Segregated housing with far worse homes for colored people. We even have different water fountains, for God's sake. The separate but equal doctrine and all that That damn nonsense. And all the lies. That's why I moved here. No one knows what color my great-grandparents were. I completely well, yeah, understand. understand you, Mary. Just think if you were also a woman. He's my nephew, Mr. Black said. Joe and I first started 
I've taken care of poor Bobby when my sister died. That was when he was almost 15. The three of us went on that trip to Luna Park. So this is where Joe Dunn comes in. Bobby was the only one who knew about me and Joey. We were afraid that someone would use my past to ruin his career. It's not the first time I hear that story. Hmm. I'm sorry I accused you so lightly. Don't worry, I understand. Good, good, good. All right, so now let's see. Is there anything we can spot? Something right there. Fresh, Fresh the paint. Air. The whole room smells like pie. Oh. <laughs> TV and radio all in one. Where will these mad times lead us? <laughs> about her Mary smells like actually the whole room smells like a pie fresh out of the oven so I can't identify any other fragrances uh. and eyes Linda S. Lovelace Okay, that should be it. That cherry pie One smells sec. so good. I'm starting to get hungry. Thanks. I pulled it out of the oven right before you arrived. Oh, where are my manners? I'm the worst hostess in the world. Nah. Let me go get a knife from the kitchen. And you must be thirsty. Uh, let me see. OJ, coffee? Water's fine. Water's good, thanks. She's wearing the same clothes in both pictures. So she's probably telling the truth. How do you do that? Sorry, I was going to help you with that. He didn't say anything. I don't like how she's by the window. She's gonna sit there and... Jeez, he's eating all the pie! What else can we see? Zoom in and right here. Now that there's almost no pie left, the scent has also disappeared. Interesting. Now Mary smells like a huge dog. Huh. Mary. Hiding. When are you going to stop lying? I know your nephew is here. I can smell him. What? No. I already told you I don't know where he is. Look, I understand why you're protecting him, but it's in his best interest to end this hide and seek. You can search the whole house if you want. Go ahead. He's not here. 
not here, but she knows where he's at. Wait a minute. She's not the one who smells like that. Who is? There's something right here. That's where Bobby Yale's scent is coming from. Inside the thing. So, that's why you were sitting there. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Could you step aside so I can check, please? Please go. Mary, for Christ's sake, put that knife down, would you? Leave Aura. Whoa. I just want to help. Mary, I came here to help. I uh, mean it. I don't want to hurt you. Leave her alone! Oh, snap, we found him. Whoa, Bobby. Whoa, whoa. What just happened to Bobby? Call an ambulance. Do as I say. Go on, call an ambulance. Do it now. In the face of a heart attack, there's two things you can't forget. It's one, heart. Stay calm. Two, one chest compression per second. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Five Mississippi. Six Mississippi. Ooh, Bobby. One Mississippi. Thank you. We only failed Bobby. one time. Bobby. Thank you. I had lots of reasons to consider this a great day. I had investigated a suicide case. I had discovered that, in truth, we were dealing with a murder. I had found and captured the prime suspect. Yet there's so many I questions. Saved a life. Everything in me screamed that something was going wrong. Terribly wrong. Oh no. What could be going wrong? We won't take the law into your own hands. I'd like to think we're not just vigilantes. I want a gun! 
What the hell? Bang, bang, bang! A fair amount of violence, extortion, and casualty. I hate detectives. Sleeping. Bang, bang, bang! You're dead meat, cat. That you, Smirnoff? You seem agitated. Nightmare? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I have a lot of those. Yeah, that makes two of us. Anyway, why don't you go home? In his current condition, Yale's not going anywhere. Besides, we'll take it from here. Who is that? Can we trust him? I know how to pick my men, John. You? I'm not so sure. You promised me you wouldn't intervene. If I hadn't intervened, Bobby Yale could be dead. If you had warned me, maybe we could have avoided a heart attack. Anyway, what's done, is done. A dog smoking. When, when exactly did you realize that he killed Dunn? Out of sheer curiosity, I'm a cop after all. To be honest, I'm not so sure Yale killed anyone. How about the motive? Any ideas? I call this fight. Yeah. I know That's Dunn it. wanted to call the fight off after something Yale did, but I still don't know what. In any case, hopefully Yale will tell us more. Would you let me ask him some questions when he wakes up? I know you will, with or without my permission. So, I'd rather not feel betrayed. <laughs> In exchange, drop by the station when you can. Your investigation could really help my men. Who, by the way, must be waiting for me to interrogate Mary Purnell. Boy, she was hard to pry from Yale's side. Don't go too soft on her. She's a liar. Be nice to her. She's been through a lot. Yeah. She's been through a lot in the past days. Be nice to her. Of course. In spite of it all, we're not just vigilantes. Try to protect Mary Purnell. And as Purnell. for you, go get some rest. God knows you need it. We'll see. I can't promise anything. Tell the nurses to look at that face of yours. You look like a film detective in his last scene. I'm afraid this film isn't over yet. <laughs> For your sake. I hope you're wrong. You're in charge now, officer. Okay. I'll send you relief in six hours. Understood? Doctor. Who are? Oh, detective. Congratulations. Lizard. You fared pretty well against that kid. Better than most would have. <laughs> or alligator? What is he? Now, if you'll excuse me. Fared well. Do I look like I fared well to you? The guy here. We, as a society, simply don't trust reptiles. But that's not the real problem. The real problem is our extended belief that there's logic to that distrust, that it's natural and well-founded. Dr. Palmer. How's Yale? Is he awake? Oh yeah. Go check on him before he falls asleep again. 
Although, try not to bother him with too many questions. What's his current condition? Um, it's too soon to tell. He did have a heart attack after all. Okay, so he did have a heart attack. I wonder if he's taking something and that's why I wanted to call off the fight. To just say, yo, rest after his heart attack. Go away. I don't want to see you. The doctor told me to sleep. I rarely get to interrogate a suspect with his guard down in a place as quiet as this. Getting the chance to study his body language with no distractions is a rare gift. His heart rate is increasing. It could mean that he's lying, but it could also just be pure, unadulterated rage. True. What else can we see? It's very serious. He's looking straight at me. If he couldn't hold my stare, I'd think he's lying. But that's not the case. He's clenching his fist. A sign of contained anger. Clenched fist. Fast heart rate. Fixed stare. He feels some genuine rage towards me. I don't understand why, though. I'm sorry you don't want to see me, but... I saved your life, son. Maybe my aunt feels gratitude. I certainly don't. Luckily, I just got my medication. I'll be snoozing soon. All right, I'll just cut to the chase. Before we question him, let's see. Is he lying or did his heart rate speed up out of rage? Is he holding back his rage? In his eyes. He can't look me in the eye. I'd say he's lying. Who killed Dunn? Who killed Joe Dunn? What? Are you trying to confuse me? Joe hanged himself. Check his, I uh, can't check his heart rate. Okay. Dunn was too short to hang himself with that rope. So, it's true? He was murdered. Making sure he doesn't have anything else pop up. I know the murder weapon was yours. What? The rope? I don't get it. What weapon do you mean? Don't play with me, boy. The chest expander. An expander? I've never had one of those. What was All it right. doing in your locker? Let's just say that I... I believe you. The murderer killed Dunn with a chest expander and planted evidence to make us believe it was suicide. But he also left enough clues behind to make sure we found the true murder weapon. Then he put the chest expander box in your locker to frame you. Do you know anyone that twisted and who also happens to have a motive? I... I don't know. Frank Cassidy? What about Frank Cassidy? Do you think he has a motive? Maybe. A few weeks ago, Joe took me to a boxing manager's association meeting. Headed by Cassidy. Yeah. He was obsessed with making it illegal for boxers to fight without a manager. Or without an associated manager. Everyone seemed to go along with it until Joe spoke up. He said that would lower us to mob status. That Cassidy had founded the association just to make money by monopolizing the sport. That made others think twice. And Cassidy ended up empty-handed. 
Poor mm. Cassie. All right, what about uh, Desmond O'Leary? Desmond O'Leary certainly seems twisted enough. Did he have anything against Dunn? I'm not sure if they knew each other. At least not in person. About a month ago, Joe kicked one of O'Leary's men out of the gym. He was trying to give a business card to... Jake was the army. Yeah, exactly. Did Jake tell you about that? Something like that. What about Jake? Maybe it was... What am I saying? Jake could never pull off something like that. <laughs> Nothing. Never mind. What about Sonia Dunn? Sonia? I doubt it. She's odd. But she's his daughter. I've seen worse. Believe me. Black Sad. I think I owe you an, uh... uh you know, my father disappeared when I was six. Right after winning a fight. We never heard from him again. Do you know what that does to a kid? Who knows where I'd be if Joe Dunn hadn't been in my life. Even when I lost my way and put a gun to his head years later, he still took me under his wing and managed to steer me in the right direction. And now that he's gone, you're risking your life to find his murderer. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for... <laughs> He's out. Not bad. The number of cigarette butts is inversely proportional to my hours of sleep. <laughs> ah, damn. Let's see. He's passed out, right? Thighs. Is that eye movement normal? Dreaming? Tell me you get downwards. The hands say a lot about what's going on inside a person. He seems restless. Should I tell someone? See, there's no fever whatsoever. He must be having a nightmare. Are you sure? Wouldn't you have nightmares too after what he went through yesterday? I know I sure wouldn't sleep. I have nightmares myself, but those go way back. Oh, the poor thing. Do you know what my nightmare is? <laughs> it's that, that witch I have to work with. Oh. Good thing she's got trauma surgery at 12.30, but I wish it were a little sooner, you know? Her nurse will be gone later for surgery. Anyway, thank you for letting me know and, and, and for bringing him in. You don't know how excited I am to be involved in a criminal case. <laughs> it might not be important, but... I need to take a look at his medical report. Alright, and right here seems about a perfect spot to stop for tonight. It literally just got the save. Um, so, so far, I'm enjoying this game. Um, I think we're maybe like one third of the way, halfway there, something around that. Because it says it takes about averagely like 10 hours. So, um, we'll see. Tomorrow.